Almost everyone I know, myself included, enjoys going to Chipotle or one of its many doppelgangers for a burrito. But almost no one I know actually makes burritos at home. So I'm going to show you how to roll burritos, which I think is the part of making burritos that intimidates people the most, for much less money than you would spend at Chipotle. You want to start with a warm tortilla, and the tortilla has to be warm. If it's not warm, it will not roll properly and it will split. And then you want to put your ingredients, starting with the rice, close to the center of the tortilla, but a little bit closer to you than to the other side. Overstuffing is your enemy. You want to use less of the filling than you think that you need. Once you have all the ingredients that you want in the burrito, it's time to start rolling. You lift up the edge closest to you and you wrap it firmly over the fillings. Make sure it's firm, you have to be decisive here. Then you fold in the edges and keep rolling, again, keeping it as tight and snug as possible. And you have a beautiful burrito. So once the intimidation factor is gone, you can start experimenting with all different kinds of burritos. You can use different kinds of cheese and vegetables and meats and just make whatever kind of burrito you want. The world is your oyster, burrito-wise. I don't know if I recommend oyster burritos, but you can try it. But they don't actually sharpen it, so you do need an additional knife sharpener. Okay, this onion is ready to go. So let's say I want to top. But really, any surface will do as long as you use enough force. You should also prefer small to medium-sized eggs, which have thicker...